Hello, the pharmacist Jacinthi here. Today, I would like to share with you two newly discovered elements that stops COVID-19 virus infection. Sinki. Now make sure you stay until the very end so you don't miss out on any important information that could save your life. Now special announcement, I will be separating my music and vlogs to another new channel. I'll put a link down below for those who are interested. And if I happen to speak another language in the other channel, I'll make sure I put subtitles for you. Now if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button now and thumbs up. Without further ado, let's rock it. A team of researchers led by Dr. Mia Che Hong from Asia University in Taiwan have discovered that tannic acid found in many of our daily food, such as grapes, strawberries, can inhibit COVID-19 spread. This research made its way to the American Journal of Cancer Research. Now, there are a lot of scientific jargon in this journal, so I have simplified it here for you. So what is tannic acid? Tannic acid is a form of tannin, which is a type of polyphenol and it has a bitter tasting to it. How does it stop COVID-19? In order for COVID-19 to infect a person, it goes through two basic steps. Step number one, it gets into the human cells. Step number two, it replicates many copies of itself in the human cell and further spread itself to infect more other cells. Now, the great news is tannic acid actually stops the virus in these two steps. In step number one, it stops the virus from getting into the human cells by inhibiting the enzymes involved in the virus's cellular entry. This enzyme is called the transmembrane protease serine 2, aka TMPRSS2. In step number two, it stops the virus from replicating itself by inhibiting the enzyme that controls the replication of the virus. This enzyme is called the 3CL Pro. Now, most people who are watching this are not scientists, so I wouldn't be going through the biochemistry of this. If you are interested in knowing more about the biochemistry, I will put a link down below for you. So now, comes the most anticipated information of the day. What food contains tannic acid and how much do we need? The great news is tannic acid can be found in many food that is already around us. Now this is the list of some of the food that contains tannic acid. Grapes, red wine, mangoes, strawberries, persimmons, pomegranate, bananas. Now for grapes, the tannic acid is concentrated on the skin and the seed. So wash the grapes clean, don't peel off the skin when you eat it and chew up all the seeds. Unripe grapes that are small and green have higher levels of tannic acid. And tannic acid decreases as grapes ripens. Same for bananas. Unripe green bananas has higher concentration of tannic acid and tannic acid levels decreases as bananas ripens. I know you're thinking in your head, am I going to eat green bananas? Ah! Red wine are made out of grapes, so they contain tannic acid as well. For those red wine lovers, yes, you can drink a lot, but be careful because after all, it is an alcohol as well. Overconsumption of alcohol causes a lot of problems to the body. Now, there are some reports saying that coffee contains tannic acid, but tannic acid is concentrated in the coffee skin, tea. Now, there are conflicting information out there about if tea contains tannic acid. If you know more in depth about this, do leave a comment down below and share it with everyone. The reason why I'm bringing tea up is because of another type of tannin in tea called ECGC aka Apigallocatachium gallate was discovered to stop COVID-19 virus from entering human cells. This research discovery was led by Professor Sheng Jun from Yunnan Agricultural University in China. ECGC is predominantly found more in green tea as compared to other types of tea. Now, how much of tannic acid and ECGC do we need for this to be effective to prevent COVID-19 infection? At this stage, researchers have not yet determined the dosage needed but have advised the public to eat food that contains tannic acid and ECGC on a regular basis. Now, as a pharmacy major, 
whether or not tannic acid and ECGC can be properly absorbed and how much would it be absorbed through eating different types of foods and drinking tea is another study in itself. All these research are done in vitro studies, which means it's done in a lab environment without any human subjects involved. So more research has to be done to determine its efficacy in humans. Now you would expect that in a pandemic like that, there would be more money pumped into these type of researches to get more accurate and faster answers. Unfortunately, there isn't. The reality with research is someone has to fund it. Government funding are competitive and limited. And for private funding, the person who funds it would be betting on a high enough return to make their investment worthwhile. And if they are not selling green tea, mangoes or grapes, chances of them funding the research would be near to zero. Researching in these types of food are not like researching in vaccines, where the company holds the novelty copyright of the vaccine. Far too many people are selling these type of food. So just because there are not much reliable quality research done in this area doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just means that no one is putting enough money to research about it because they can't get enough money out of it. And so mankind cannot know for sure. So what's the conclusion? While we're waiting for our turn to get vaccinated, there are no downside in starting to consume these types of food in an appropriate amount as long as you are not allergic to them and it's not causing you other problems. So yes, please start to eat food that contains tannic acid and ECGC. Drink your green tea in the day if it affects your sleep at night. For some people, tea can cause irritation to the stomach. So work out an appropriate dose for yourself. Now, if you are on blood pressure medication, such as ACE inhibitors like Perendopril or sartans like Herbisartans, don't go crazy with your bananas to avoid hypokalemia, which is too much potassium in your blood that causes irregular heartbeat. Some bananas are fine as long as it doesn't cause you trouble. You can always do a blood test to determine your potassium levels. If eating a banana a day while you're on this medication and your potassium levels are fine, then it's okay to keep eating one banana a day. Everyone responds differently to this, so only a blood test can give an accurate indication. Now, an interesting finding. I took the number of COVID-19 infection cases of a few major countries and divided against its human population in 2019. We worked out its infection probability and came up with a wild hypothesis. Asian countries like China, Taiwan and Japan has lower infection rate due to its population's high green tea ECGC consumption. UK people do drink a lot of tea, but mostly are black tea that does not contain much ECGC. And US has the lowest tea consumption number, and that's why UK and US has higher infection probability. Alright, that's my wild hypothesis. I could be entirely wrong. There are many factors that I have not considered. So much more analysis and research has to be done on this. Anyway, tell me your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Okay, that's all from me for today. I hope you liked this episode. It's your pharmacist Sinki here. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button now and thumbs up and see you around.